salute to everybody for uh, tuning in to my channel. This is a, a very, 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 very serious, serious episode of Just Say No to Scope. Because recently I've been seeing these cats online been out of line, man. You online cats, man. The things y'all get on this internet and say and do for views, bruh. I'm not even surprised no more. Well, Hassan Campbell, it's your turn. Shall we begin? <laughs> Shall we begin? You did. Let's begin, Hassan Campbell. You spoke out recently when Gilly the Kid's son Cheese passed away, bro. A black man lost his child, and you took that as a way to get some views and some likes on the internet. You a sucker, bro. Can't respect you, bro. Um, let me see where, where I'm going. This right here is your son. This is your son right here. This is this this young man right here, but this gentleman right here, this sir, belongs to you. And I'm not knocking, I'm not knocking him at all. Live your life, fam. Do your thing, homie. Do your thing, big dog. Do you. But at the end of the day, Hassan Campbell, you talked about Gilly. You said that Gilly got all this money, so his son had no business being in the hood. You talking about that same hood you niggas been glorifying for, for forever. Them same hoods y'all get all y'all stories from where y'all say it made y'all the man y'all are today. All these hood stories you niggas got claiming y'all the biggest gangsters. Look at you, big gangster. Now you telling somebody, oh, you, sh you shouldn't have been in the hood. Nigga, shut up. We ain't trying to hear that, bro. First of all, rest in peace to Cheese. Cheese was 25 years old, grown man. Don't even live with Gilly. Who, who the hell tells their kids where to go after 20, 25 years? Like, you don't tell your kids where to go once they 19, 20, 21, they leave the house. You can't control your kids where they go. Them your kids forever. But, but he a grown ass man. And you know that, bro. Now, you said that you and your son don't get along. This young man right here. All respect to him. You said y'all don't get along because uh, somebody did something to him. Somebody molested him or something like that. So you said that, therefore, you feel like he turned gay. Well, somebody molested you too, fam. Didn't Bambada have his finger in your booty too, fam? I'm just being honest. Not even, not even trying to go at you like that. But the same thing that your son went through, didn't you go through the same thing? Hmm. But the minute Gilly's son passed away, you jumped right on the internet and started speaking about being a father when you let down your own son. You said your son was somebody, you know, did something to him. His mom was letting him, let him go anywhere. Nigga, you a father. You were supposed to have stepped in, brother. I don't give a damn, nigga, uh, uh, how hard your baby mama made it, bro. We all went through it, fam. We all went through baby mamas being mad at us. Differences, disagreements. But no matter what, you don't leave your kids, bro. You don't find no wedge to put in between your kids. Oh, he gay, so he know I don't rock like that, so we didn't get along. What? If you knew your son was gay, you should have started trying to understand him, bro. You, you should have started doing more to uh, understand the life that he finna start living. But not you, bro. You a gangster. That's right. You a gangster. Let's talk about your son real quick. Let's talk about these gentlemen over here real quick. First of all, let me see. Um, where do I want to go? I want to go here real quick. I want to go. I want to go to something you said. Well, I guess he was gay all along, and he know daddy don't like. You know, I, I'm not really with homosexuality. It is what it is. I know today homosexuals run the world, but my son, I didn't give birth to a son to be a little girl. So at the end of the day, I, I, I believe that that's one of the reasons why the father he was trying to avoid me. Mm. Mm. And eventually, he done went out there and then grew some titties and turned full fledged on um, cupcake, mentally to him. Mentally okay. to him. Mm. Okay. She played the mental game that was crazy. Okay. You call your son a cupcake? All that. Call your son a cupcake? Like this young man had a real person. Like he don't got feelings. Like he don't see shit like this. But you online telling somebody how to be a father, bruh. You let your son down, fam. And then you online clowning him. But you talking about Gilly's son. You waited for that young man to die to jump online and say the most negative, ignorant shit a black man could say, a black father could say about another black father. Let me tell you something, fam. Gilly and Cheese had a great relationship. Gilly and Cheese had no wedge in between them. When his son passed away, him and his son had a relationship. If your son died tomorrow, nigga ain't nothing but regret, fam. Nothing but regret. So, yeah, your son is still alive, but he not the son you want him to be. So he dead to you. Think about that. He ain't the nigga you want him to be, so he, he dead to you. I'm sure you don't spend no time with him. You don't talk to him. You're embarrassed of him. You just call him a cupcake. You're embarrassed of your son. But yet and still, as a black father, you won't lie until another man, his son, died because of him. Bro, you should be ashamed of yourself, bro. Hassan Campbell, you should be ashamed of yourself, brother. On top of that, we all know about what Ben Bada did to you and what happened to you. You did. We all know what happened to you, fam. You did. We all know what happened to you. 
Let me see. Let me, let me get into some of this real quick. Let me see. Let me get into some of this real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Your father, as if it's a bad thing. So she mentally destroyed him to where she wanted, where he didn't want to come with me. And then when he would, when he would come with me, he didn't got in trouble in school. He didn't did this. So she tried to make me the bad guy. I'm the punishment is what she did mentally to him. She played the mental game. That was crazy. Oh, okay. So moving right along somewhere down the line with her leaving him with this person and that person and that person, he was getting molested. Mm. Mm. Oh. Make a long story short. And then as I guess when, he became getting close to his teenager age. Somebody was doing the bambada to him. Mm. I didn't know about it. Mm. You know why you didn't know about it? Because you wasn't around, my nigga. You didn't know about it because you was occupied doing other things, fam. But let me tell you something, my nigga. A real father ain't got no excuses, bro. To all my black men watching right now, a real father don't got no excuses while you're not in your child life, bro. I don't give a fuck if the bitch fly that nigga to another country. You get you a passport, my nigga. You did. I'm a father, bro. I got two kids, my nigga. Now, they in the same home. I only got one baby mama. Yeah, I went goofy like the rest of you niggas, having kids every fucking where. I knew I couldn't take care of babies that's placed around everywhere. I knew I wanted my kids under the same roof. I understood that. You did. I'm not no Nick Cannon, Lil Wayne ass nigga, because that's that's child abuse in a form, too. Having kids, you only send the money, never around them. They don't really know who the fuck you are. You really don't know who they are. That's child abuse, too. But niggas don't think like that, because all niggas care about is money, being hard, being gangster, just like you, how you get on this internet and play tough and do all this goofy ass shit and these views, bro. You should be spending time with your son, bro. You should be trying to get to know that man. But nah, you'd rather, you'd rather get on this internet and show out. You talk about your backyard all the time. You got a new backyard, you decorated, made it look like a, a vacation. Well, nigga, I wish you would have treated your son the same way, bro. I wish you would have put time into him. I wish you had a vision for him. Took your time and put everything in place like you did that backyard. If only you felt the same way about your uh, son as you do your backyard, nigga. Mm, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. So, you know, what can you really tell a nigga about being a dad, bro? Your card has been revoked, bro. Your dad card is revoked. Your son standing over there with ass and titties like Nicki Minaj. Your father passed is revoked, bro. And I'm not saying that's the reason it's revoked. The reason it's revoked is he turned into somebody who you don't want him to be. But you weren't even in his life like that because, you know, like you said, when a nigga, when something happened to him, when he was victimized, you believe he turned gay and you don't like you. You, you wasn't with that. He knew you wasn't with that. Instead of being a real man and being a real father and saying, look, I got to readjust myself. I got to I got to I got to change my thinking because this is who my son going to be. And I need to love him instead of doing that. Nigga, you oh, yeah, he know I don't rock like that. Nigga, you was a sucker. You're not a father, bro. You your son, I, nigga. Your son is just as embarrassed uh, of you as you is of him, goofy ass nigga. You a horrible father, bro. And I hope all that karma spin the block on your bitch ass for what you said about Gilly. Waiting for that man's son to die to get on the internet and turn to a, a, a piece of shit ass blogger and do what bloggers do. Oh, your son dead because of you. Man, you know what? I hope when Gilly see you, he go in your shit. There's no other way around it, fam. If you said that about one of my kids and they died, I gotta see you, my nigga. Ain't no way around it, bro. I don't give a damn. We in Brooklyn. I don't give a damn where we at. Ain't no way around it, bro. Ain't no way around it, bro. And that's sad that y'all use these platforms to tear down a black father who mourning and you know that the worst day of his life you chose to, you know what I mean? Let me let, let me go make a video. Sucker. You're an internet nigga. That's exactly what you use the internet nigga now. All that gangster shit you talk about, we don't want to hear about it no more. That we don't that's back in the day, nigga. Today, you was a goofy ass internet nigga. And then we don't want to hear about back in the day anyway. Because while you was doing that gangster shit, didn't Bambada have a finger up your booty while you was, you was this big, tough gangster, but you couldn't get Bambada off your ass? Or was you young like your son when it happened to him? You feel me? Or was you young like your son when it happened to him? But either way, you a sucker, bro. I want to say rest in peace to cheese. Salute to Gilly and Wallow. Salute to Gilly for being a real dad, being in all this kid's life. I know Gilly got a son, too. People say uh, him and his son don't rock out, but I don't know nothing about that. I don't know that. You dig? His son ain't never came out and spoke out and said anything about him. You dig? So at the end of the day, bro, you should probably just worry about your kids, bro. Worry about what's in front of you, my nigga, and stop jumping on this internet speaking on somebody else's kids, bro. And then let's keep it going because the same thing that Ben Bada did to you, the same thing that happened to your son, somebody also accused you of doing the same thing to him. Yeah, you got a victim out there too, bro. A little white boy said that he was homeless, had nowhere to go, doing bad in life. He was on a website, a gay website, where he met you. 
He said, you told him to come around. You're going to help him out, feed him, look out for him, build him back up. But instead, you used him for sex. You molested him. Let's get into some of that real quick. Let's, let's get into some of that. Then he said, you want to run your mouth online, my nigga. Let's get, let's, let's get into some of that. Let, let's see what your victim had to say. I'm making this video because I tried contacting Hassan Campbell. He didn't want to talk on the phone. It was rightfully so. He shouldn't want to because of what he did. Um, I'm making making contact to the world to let them know what he did. Don't know why he did it. But I was... I was 16 years old and um, I got shunned by my family and I didn't really have nowhere to go. And um, I was on this uh, website for men and uh, I met up with him in uh, Long Island and, uh, you know, he said he would help me out and take care of me. Uh, but those weren't his intentions from the age 16 to 18 he molested me and and i'm coming out with this video because of all the stuff he's been he's been posting and it's just y'all need to know he he does not deserve to be on this world he's he's not he's not a good person this shouldn't be done to anybody what he did to me God damn shame. That's the damn shame, man. I believe him too. <clears throat> he looked like somebody that's strung out and fucked up, been in the streets, ain't got nowhere to go. Probably not the smartest man in the world. And you took advantage of him. You took advantage of him. So what Bambada did to you was somebody did to your son, you passed it on. You yeah, yeah, you passed it on. And then you talk about your son. Look, let's look at your son. You talk about your son, though. This, this is your son right here, though. This is your son. This is your son. Adobo from Goya as well. It's like an all-purpose seasoning. That, that, that's yeah. your son. That's your son, fam. That's your son, bro. That's your son. And like I said, shout out to this brother. This video is not to knock this Delivered brother right here at all. Powder. And again, I this video is not to knock this brother at all. This video is not to knock your son. I'm not here to knock your son. You did be who you want to be, young man. Do your thing. Be who you want to be. Salute to all the transgenders, all the 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 the, 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 the LGBT community. Salute to all the man. I ain't got hate for nobody, man. But it's just crazy that you tell out of all people you trying to give a nigga advice on how to be a dad and what he should have did with his son. Bro, you crazy, nigga. Let me tell you something. It don't matter how much money you got, bro. Ain't none of us safe. You hear me? It don't matter how much money you got. Being a black man walking out the outside every day, nigga, you ain't safe. So that whole theory you came with about he was in the hood, y'all got all this money, nigga, you could die anywhere, fam. Nigga, nigga, FBG Duck died in one of the most nicest sides of Chicago. It don't matter where you at, bro. Ignorant niggas is going to be ignorant niggas, bro. So at the end of the day, that whole statement you made about his son, that was weird. Makes you a weird, uh, weird ass nigga. You feel me? Like I said, I hope karma don't spin the block and nothing happened to nobody, nobody in your family. And I mean that. I'm not going to jump online and talk about your son if he died or talk about you. We don't do that, bro. Like I said, salute to this young man right here, man. Do your thing, bro. Do your thing, brother. Do your thing, brother. What's his name? Uh, uh, Aubrey. Do your thing, Aubrey. But your dad ain't shit, Aubrey. And your dad don't care about you. Meanwhile, instead of rocking with you, he online telling another nigga how he should raise his son. Did you ever press charges on African Bambada? Or did you let that nigga get away with that and go do it to other people? Bro, you's a sucker, bro. You speak up on the wrong shit, dog. Light-skinned nigga, curly hair, glasses on, nigga. Come on, bro. You didn't come on, bro. <clears throat> nigga don't respect you, bro. I'll be honest. What you said about Gilly's son, bro, I never respect you, bro. You's a sucker to me, man, but you got bigger problems. Like I said, your son standing over there built like Cardi B, like Lotto, like Nicki Minaj. You did, you know what I mean? Your son standing around built like a bitch. And you know what I mean? And like I said, salute to him. But I feel like you played a big role in what he turned out to be, bro. You didn't spend no real time with him. When you found out something happened to him, you didn't do nothing about it. And the same shit was happening to you. 
You and your son had a lot in common. Did you ever sit him there and talk about being molested? Did you ever talk about Ben Vada shoving his middle finger up your ass? Did you ever talk about any of that with your son? Did you give him any game on how to get out that situation, how to think, maybe put him in therapy? Nothing. You went to YouTube. You did start popping gangster shit. You a horrible father, my nigga. I'm going to tell you that, bro. You a horrible dad. And I'm only telling you this because you told another nigga about his father. You told another nigga about how to raise his kids. That's the only reason I'm speaking on this, fam. If you wouldn't have said shit, I wouldn't have said shit. Like I said, salute to your son. I'm sure he had a hard life without you, bro. You said once he knew, once he came out as gayer, you could tell he was gay. He stopped messing with you because he knew that my dad don't rock with me. I've chose a certain uh, person to become in my life, and my dad don't rock with that. So that's why you and your son got a relationship, because of you, nigga. So remember that. Stop talking about other cat sons and worry about your own, bro. You got a whole he, she over there, my nigga. Figure it out, bro. Until then, I'm gone, gang. Let me put my goddamn glasses. Let me put my Hassan's back on. You know what I mean? Shall we begin? Let me put my Hassan's back on. Because you dudes out here. Yeah, yeah you tough dudes. Come on, my nigga. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, fam. It's your boy, Jesse. You know the skull. It's skull gang or no gang or don't bang. We don't break the news. We just break the news down like a pound. I'm gone. Salute to everybody. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And, and stop speaking on people's kids, man. You dig? You black men, stop jumping online, speaking on people's kids. Rest in peace to Cheese. Salute to Gillian Wallow. And to all my real black dads out there, stay in your kids' life, man. Stay in your son life, my nigga. If you want your son to be anything near the image of you, stay in his life, my nigga. Until next time, we gone.